Level check, one, two, three, four. Level check, one, two, three, four from the Dietrich Activity Center. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to sunny, warm Walla Walla, Washington, as uh, we get set for the biggest game of the season for a couple of NWAC Eastern Region men's basketball teams as the Walla Walla Community College Warriors will host the Community Colleges of Spokane Sasquatch. It is 70 degrees outside here in Walla Walla and we expect it to heat up here inside as well as these teams who just played each other on Wednesday will play again. A lot more on the line this time as the winner goes to the NWAC tournament in Everett, Washington beginning on Thursday, this coming Thursday, that's right, just a few days away, the loser is eliminated from play. How'd they get here? Well, both of uh, these teams split during the regular season, and their records against all of the other teams in the NWAC were exactly the same. They both lost to Wenatchee Valley twice. They both lost to... North Idaho twice, they split with everybody else or they swept everybody else except each other and it was a split and Walla Walla necessitated that split with an 86-83 win on Wednesday night here at the Dietrich Activity Center. Earlier in the year up in Spokane on February 2nd, it was Spokane that won 89-72. So because of Walla Walla's 86-83 win, both teams are now 8-8. Eight and eight. The Warriors are 11 and 15. Overall, the Sasquatch are 15 and 12. And this is a winner take all game. And we can also tell you who uh, the opponent will be. Well, one of three. The, the, the draw is tomorrow afternoon, and we'll talk more about that as well. But whoever wins this game will face either Olympic from the north, Lower Columbia from the west, or. Lane or Umpqua from the south as they are still trying to figure that out as far as who wins that uh, southern region. And there are games going on here uh, all afternoon in the south region. All of the other regions have completed their season. So we're about two and a half minutes away. We're getting our statistics up and getting set to bring you this game had an opportunity to talk to both coaches before the game. Jeremy Groth from Spokane 
and uh, Jeff Rhineland from Walla Walla, and they agreed they expect it to be a street fight here today. It was very physical the other day, and both coaches said we don't really see any reason why it wouldn't be just as physical, if not more physical, today because of what is on the line. So again, a beautiful day outside, and we are glad that you are with us either in person here in the Dietrich Activity Center, a good crowd, and more and more people coming in. Oh, also, happy to have those people watching online, both Warrior fans, such as uh, Graydon Stanley. Hello. Thank you for checking in. Or Sasquatch fans. And boy, I'll tell you, on Wednesday night, we had 100 viewers right around there the entire time, especially at the end as Spokane made a run at the end and nearly caught the Warriors. And so a good crowd online Wednesday night. We expect a good crowd again here tonight. The officials are greeting the coaches. You can see the teams warming up. Spokane has the pink shooting shirts. They'll be in navy underneath their road navies, and the Warriors are in their home golds as you look at it here and as I look at it. You can make the screen a little bit smaller and get into the chat box on the right and say hello and tell us where you are watching from, who you are rooting for, and we'll give you a shout out as uh, we always do to those people who are watching uh, today's game. I want to say hello to Chuck Williams rooting for the Bigfoot, and he's tuned in from Alaska, and uh, Jerron Williams uh, for Spokane had a monster game on Wednesday. It was 25 points for Jerron, including a perfect 3-3 three three from the free throw line. So I think Chuck was one of the people who said hello to us on Wednesday. And we welcome you back into the broadcast here this afternoon. It is a gorgeous day outside, but if you are outside, we hope you will take a few minutes and either come down to the activity center or uh, log in and uh, there'll still be plenty of daylight left uh, after the game. And speaking of daylight, tomorrow is not only the selection show, but it's daylight savings time. So just a reminder to uh, turn your clocks ahead as we spring forward tomorrow morning. So do that before we go to bed tonight or first thing in the morning. And now our anthem, and then we'll have the starting lineups. Our national anthem, and uh, whoever wins uh, this game, we hope to see some of your fans in Everett beginning Thursday. I get to have the pleasure of going over there and helping out, and so I'll be over there and hope to see as many over you as there as we can. The starters for Spokane, Jerron Williams, a 6'5 guard from East High School in Anchorage, Alaska. Also, Paul Terry, a freshman guard from Springville High School in Springville, Utah. Caleb Johnson, a 6'3 sophomore, also from East High School in Anchorage, Alaska, will start. Brett Michaels, a 6'5 sophomore from Glacier High School in Kalispell, Montana, starts. And Kobe Reese, a 6'7 sophomore center from Shadle Park High School in Spokane, Washington. Spokane is coached by Jeremy Groth, Michael Hannon, and Paul Butorak. So that's the starting lineups. So it will be Williams, Terry, Johnson, Michaels, and Reese. 
And now for the Warriors, they line up like this, wearing zero is Kobe Kelly, a six foot freshman guard from Garden Valley High School in Garden Valley, Washington. Noah White starts today. He's a 6'3 freshman guard from Mountain View High School in Meridian. He's from Boise, Idaho. Noah is in for Spencer Wright, who was injured in the first 45 seconds of our game the other day, and Spencer is out for the remainder of the season. So Noah White gets the start. Also uh, starting for the Warriors is Jake Poulton. Jake is a six-foot sophomore guard from Columbia High School in Nampa, Idaho. Nico Robbins starts. He is a 6'4 freshman from Mary Knoll High School in Honolulu, Hawaii. And under, underneath, it's Jander Klein, a 6'5 sophomore from Heritage High School in Vancouver, Washington. The Warriors are coached by Jeff Rineland, Jimmy Hill, Case Rada, and Gabe Porter. MJ Zunick, the Zunicks are cheering on the Warriors from New Mexico as they are every single game. And Papa Stu in Fruitland, Idaho, gives a shout out to Harrison Fletcher. Go Warriors. So we have people from all over and already a crowd of more than 50 on as we get set. The Warriors will travel from right to left as you look at it along with me. And the Sasquatch will go from left to right. And we're ready. It's a winner take all in loser out game here in Walla Walla, Washington. And the Sasquatch will have the first opportunity. So glad that you're with us wherever you might be as we bring you this NWAC East region play-in game and Terry hands it out to Michaels and they reset it. Nothing going on the first possession or the first try and so they back up and then dropping it in from deep is Caleb Johnson. So he pulls up, he knocks it down and right off the bat the Sasquatch lead 3-0. Warriors with the opportunity. Let's see what they can do on their first try as it's Robin and White. Working back and forth against Spokane. Give and go to Klein, and he'll lay it in. Jander Klein got the easy basket on the give and go, and it's 3-2 to two in favor of the Sasquatch. Kobe Kelly's family is watching in Mesquite, Nevada. Kobe from Garden Valley. Want to say hello to them. Reese backs in. Klein with the double team. What they do is they leave Michaels open, and that time uh, it was off the iron, and the Warriors get it, trailing by one, and Kelly open left side three off the heel and back to Spokane. The Warriors missed a couple threes early last game, but ended up having a pretty good success from theirs. They ended up making 10. Spokane made seven last game. Williams pulls up from 12. That might have been partially blocked by Kelly, and the Warriors get the basketball back. We've played a minute and a half. Walla Walla trails Spokane three to two. Both coaches, Jeff Rhineland, Jeremy Groth, are up instructing their teams. And White gonna fire a three. That is off the iron and back to Spokane. They run it up the right side. Jerron Williams took the pass from Terry and now they get into the offense. Warriors into man-to-man. -man. Reese driving on Robin, backing in, backing in, backing in, and scoring is Kobe Reese. And it's five to two. I wanna say hello to Cody Roteliak who is the uh, Family of the tra our trainer, Kyler, she's on the end of the bench. And also uh, CBC is watching as well. We always welcome our friends from Pasco right down the road. They are in the tournament. What a great year, CBC. They will be in Everett, and they're watching out of interest to see who will join them, Wenatchee. As Kelly comes in and scores, Kobe Kelly. So CBC... Wenatchee and Yakima have already punched their tickets and whoever wins this game will be the fourth team from the East. We wish CBC well in Everett next week. Driving and kicking, Spokane by one. It's Michaels and he got fouled. Brett Michaels and it's on Robin. It's Nico Robin's first and they are going to say that Michaels will have a pair here and let's give you the numbers on Michaels, a 56% free throw shooter. And he will have the second one coming up, Will Michaels. Want to say hello to Samantha Williams. Let's go Spokane, rooting for Jerron. And also Veronica Wilkinson is rooting for Jake. And the Warriors tuning in from Portland with Maxton Rhineland. So thanks for tuning in wherever you may be. Michaels made the second free throw for Spokane and they lead 6-4. Walla Walla has the ball. It's White now kicking it 
Back out to Poulton. Jake with it. Give and go back to Jander. And now Noah from the left corner. Got it. Noah White. And he gives Walla Walla the lead. 7-6. First lead of the game for the Warriors. And Robin had it batted away. And now they're going to get a foul on Nico. And that's going to be his second. Right off the bat, second team foul. And so coming in for the Warriors will be Josh Gillespie, 6'5", and a freshman from Garden Valley, Idaho. He's a Garden Valley Wolverine, along with Kobe Kelly. So Josh will come in. Nico will sit. We have played just uh, a little over three minutes. And on the lob, it's intercepted by Walla Walla. So the Warriors have the ball and the lead. Gillespie going to drive baseline on Michaels, backing him in, and an offensive foul on Gillespie. So Josh Gillespie is called for the charge. That is already the third foul on Walla Walla with 16-34 remaining here in the first period. And uh, our score is Walla Walla 7 and uh, Spokane 6. Walking it up is Paul Terry on the left side. Terminates the dribble, there's Reese, guarded by Gillespie, back to Terry on the give and go, and Paul Terry gets the lay in, and Spokane has the lead back, eight, seven, as we approach the 16 minute mark. What a great final game in the Eastern region this will be. Somebody will advance and somebody won't. Williams a steal and a lay in. Jerron Williams gets it. And it's now 10-7 in favor of Spokane. They match their biggest lead. It was three earlier and it's three now. Gillespie across to Noah. Can't pull the trigger on that three. Still waiting. Now he goes baseline and he lays it in. And Noah White has five. And it's 10-9. 15-40 to play here in the opening half. Again, the Sasquatch won the first meeting by 17. The Warriors won the second meeting by three. Turnaround spin and a score for Caleb Johnson. And Spokane leads 12-9. Want to say hello to Tomika Gilson, who is rooting for Jay Gilson, number three. And Jay's about ready to check in. I see him at the scorer's table. So he will come in as the Warriors turn it over. Thanks for tuning in, all you folks who are online as we've eclipsed the 70 mark. Three on the way, good by Johnson. He has eight already, and just like that, it's 15-9 Spokane, five minutes in. Gillespie across to Noah White. Noah gonna fire the three, and good again, and that is what the Warriors will need from White. And it's 15-12, so White for Walla Walla has eight. Johnson for Spokane has eight. And with 14.40 to play, here in the half, it is a three-point lead for the Sasquatch. Driving and shooting is Williams. A little bit hard, but a great job to tipping it back. And on the return, it's a steal by Kelly. A step through. Good. Covey Kelly has four. And it's 15-14. Sasquatch on the offense. Their six-point lead is cut to one. Way out top, it's Williams. And now Terry is gonna fire a three. Not quite, but the stick back, not quite. Trying it again, and missing it again. That time was Johnson, and the Warriors finally come away with it. Couple opportunities there for Caleb. Just could not quite get it to go. Hard luck chance for Caleb Johnson that time, but he has had a great game already with eight. Warrior ball have a chance to take the lead. Poulton in the deep corner, off to Gillespie. Josh going to kick. Kelly going to fire. Good! Colby Kelly! And he racks the net. They stop the clock. It's, and it is going to be a timeout. So they stop the clock for the net to be unracked. And it's a timeout. It's the third lead change of the game. Walla Walla 17, Spokane 15. And the Warriors were down 15-9 a moment ago. And it's now 17-15. And Jay Gilson will uh, come in as he's been trying to get in and finally there's a break and so he will come in. Jay is a 6'7 forward from Summit Academy in Summit Academy in Utah and calls Mississippi home. Jay will come in for Coach Jeremy Growth as uh, we have our first break and 
Luke Terry says, let's go Bigfoot. And Paul Terry. Well, they refer to themselves in a number of ways. They're the Sasquatch. They're also the Bigfoot. And uh, they have a beautiful facility in Spokane Falls that they redid just uh, a couple years ago. And it's a great, great place to watch a game. And I love going up there to Spokane. They treat you, they treat you well as guests, and, and they put on a good show in uh, Spokane. And so you can call them the Sasquatch or the Bigfoot, whatever. Call them successful, though, that's for sure. They have a great program. Men and women. The women won here on Wednesday. They defeated the Walla Walla women by six. Reese on the inbounds. There's Gilson. He's new into the game. They swing it around, and it's going to be Caleb. And Caleb Johnson knocks it down. It's his third. And another lead change. Spokane has it back 18-17. We have played just about seven minutes, and it's a one-point game. Kind of what we expected. Covey Kelly all the way to the basket. It would not go, but he got his own rebound. He'll try it again, and it's blocked. Klein tried to tip it, and it's out of bounds, and it will be Warrior ball underneath the basket. Well, Covey made a great move to the basket. It would not go. He got his own rebound. That shot was altered. Jandra Klein tried to tip it in, and it ends up out of bounds and in the possession of... Walla Walla, who trails by one. White looking for some help and finally finds Klein. He's going to fire a three. And that is good. Jander Klein has five. And Walla Walla has a 20 to 18 lead. Back and forth we go here in the early stages of our play in game. Winner to Everett on Thursday. And loser is done for the year. Bryson Ekaveri also came in for Spokane, and he has the ball. We'll tell you about Bryson as he kicks it out. And a three for Williams. In and out, no good. Ekaveri, a 6'1 freshman from Thunder Mountain High School in Juneau, Alaska. Warriors have the ball and the lead. Eight minutes into this game. Poulton back to Klein. He's going to fire another three, and he hits it again. Jander Klein. Has eight points already, a couple threes. The Warriors already have five threes. And in talking with Jeremy Groth before the game, he said one of the things we have to do is keep them from getting threes. They had 10 the other day in the entire game. They already have five here in the first eight minutes. Warrior ball up five. Polton, and he traveled. He switched pivot feet apparently. And Coach Rhineland is telling the other players on the team to come to the ball and help out Jake Poulton. Jake gets a break, and Jake Wells comes into the game. Jake Wells is from Pullman, Washington, 6'3", and a freshman. And so Wells is into the game for Walla Walla, who leads by five with 11.30 to play in the half. Jerron Williams off to Ekaveri. Caleb Johnson already has 11 points in the game. And there is Gilson, 10-footer bank. Good, Jay Gilson knocks it down. It's 23 to 20. There are some other scores. We'll pass them along. Only the South region is playing. All the other regions are done. Klein again, and he hit another one. He has 11. Three-point goal for Klein, and Klein on the year had made six coming in and he's made three already. And they're gonna call the foul on Noah White. And that's his first and the fourth foul. And now coming in for Spokane is Michael Byers. Byers is a 6'6 sophomore from Moses Lake, Washington, went to Moses Lake High School. So six three-pointers coming into the game and Klein already has three. Free throw line, oh, I thought Gilson was going to shoot it, and instead he passed it, and his teammate was not looking for it. It's a turnover. And I want to say hello to Bon de CCSCO. I know I made that up wrong, sorry, but he's rooting for 21 Jan Recline, who has had a monster first half already with three three-point goals and a two-pointer. Kelly now. Covey Kelly going to go all the way to the basket, and... Lay it in. Nine for Kelly, and the Warriors lead by eight. 
28-20. So a run here for the Warriors who trailed 15-9. It's 19-5 run. And they leave Williams, and he banks it in. Jerron Williams gets it to go, and at the 10-minute mark, halfway through the first half, it's 28-23. Line, 17 footer, good again. Jander Klein has put the Warriors up by seven, 30 to 23. Ekaveri, that ball went all the way into the backcourt. I think it's going to be who? Oh, they're gonna say it's Walla Walla ball. And there'll be a media timeout as Coach Grove wonders how can that be Walla Walla Ball. That's what he said. And so a media timeout. It is 30 to 23 Walla Walla and they will have the ball as we look at the rest of the NWAC. Clackamas leads Chemeketa by 10 early. Portland leads Southwest Oregon by 12 early. Umquan Clark just starting. And our game is 30 to 23. So. It's been a good start for Walla Walla. The final spot in the South has been decided in the women's bracket. Umqua lost today and Portland won, so Umqua is fourth. And so for the Walla Walla women, who are the top seed in the East, they will play either Shoreline, Umpqua, or South Puget Sound. Let's talk about the selection show tomorrow at 1.30 Pacific time. Now remember, set your clocks ahead. That's the first thing you have to do. And then 1.30 Pacific time, so depending upon where you are, um, it's going to be a 1.30 show, nwacsportsnetwork.com. For the men, and the women will be at three. Again, that's Pacific time. Kobe Kelly traveled as he took an extra step. And your kiddo, Bon, is Jander, and he's having a monster game with 13 points. So glad that you're able to watch as the Warriors are a little bit thin on the bench compared to normal. Missing a couple, but we're happy that the Zunix are still tuning in as driving, and it's a blocking foul on Jake Wells. So Wells commits the foul. That is the first on Jake and the fifth team foul, and they will shoot two, and it will be Jerron Williams. Let's tell you about Jerron Williams. He is a 78% free throw shooter. And it's on the way and it rolled off. Well, the Sasquatch, one of three in the early going. Coach Rhineland thought that was a charge. But Williams gets the call and he makes the second free throw and it's 30 to 24 and they press and it's a held ball and it will be Walla Walla ball and Jake Poulton will come back in for Wells who will sit down. And so Warrior Ball, shot clock at 29. They're up by six with 9.06 to play. And Noah to get it in against pressure to Gillespie. Josh behind the back to Poulton. And the corner to Kelly who fires a three in and out, no good. And the rebound comes down to Spokane. They want to run all the way and kicking it out and it's Holt who is into the game. Missed it but the put back is also missed and the Warriors get it. Emmett Holt came in. He's from Century High School in Pocatello, Idaho 6'4 and a freshman. Welcome to the game Emmett Holt and Poulton. They thought he stepped into the backcourt but no call there. Spokane now trapping all over the place. The Warriors is trying to find the open man. And they find Gillespie wide open underneath. Great pass. 
by Jake Poulton, and it's 32-24, Warriors by eight. Driving all the way to the basket and laying it in is Williams. He has eight points, and it's 32-26, eight-minute mark. Poulton trapped to Klein. Good ball handling by Jander to keep that, and he decides to jump it up from the free throw line. It's not good, and the rebound comes down to Spokane, and they drive all the way, and athletic draw on Williams. Lays it in again, he has 10. Just like that, it's 32-28. Noah White, gonna go all the way to the basket. Spin, and hand it off to Gillespie. Josh gonna back his way in. And that wouldn't go, and Spokane has the rebound. Chance to get a little bit closer for the Sasquatch. 7.15 to go. Ekaveri driving and kicking and saving it was Gilson. And now they'll back it out. Ten on the shot clock. And Wilson! Williams got it again. Jerron Williams has 12. And Spokane has cut it all the way to two. 32 to 30, it was an eight point lead a moment ago. Bolton to Klein. And they call an offensive foul on Jander Klein. That is his first, that's the sixth team foul. And there'll be a host of subs coming in. And it will be Johnson back, Reese back. And Jeff Rhineland is upset at the foul discrepancy as he's pointing to the scoreboard saying, look, it's six to zero. Spokane has gone the entire half without fouling. And they down by two. And they call a technical foul on Jeff Rhineland. So, a technical foul on Coach Ryanland. It's the seventh team and two free throws coming up for Caleb Johnson. And he hits the first one. It's 32-31. And the second one is good again. And we have our first tie of the game. And Spokane will get the ball out right in front of the Walla Walla bench. Ekaveri driving into Reese. Reese backing down Klein. It's blocked by Jander. He gets it back and he scores. Six lead change of the game and the Sasquatch lead, 34. 32, six minute mark. And they call a foul. And it's on Emmett Holt. So the first foul on the Sasquatch, who lead now 34-32 with 5.50 to play. Kelly thinks about the three, and he got held by Holt going by. And that's the second on Holt and the second on Spokane. And coming into the game will be Williams. So Williams got a break and now Holt will sit down. So Jerron is back. And on the inbounds, Noah White out jumps Ekaveri and gets the ball. And Poulton goes around and tries to hit Klein inside, Jander. Back to Jake. And they kick it out and it's intercepted by Jerron Williams. A step through move and he lays it in. 14 for Jerron Williams and the Sasquatch lead by four. 
36-32. Hello to everyone commenting and saying hello as Noah White got free again. He has 11. And it's 36-35 in favor of Spokane. So Kelly 9, White 11, Klein 13 for the Warriors. Williams has 14. Johnson has 13. Those are your leaders for the Sasquatch. And on the miss, the Warriors get the rebound. Down one, five-minute mark of the half. Pretty much what we thought it would be. A lot of emotion, a lot of action, a lot of made baskets. Polton firing a three, and it's good. Jake Polton's first three. And the lead goes back to Walla Walla. Seventh lead change, 38-36, 4.30 to play here in the half. Reese moving to the basket. It would not go. And Klein yanks it down. Warriors with the lead. And the ball. White to Klein. He's made some, but they finally give it to Robin who backs in, reverse lay-in, that wouldn't go. And Spokane has the rebound. And that's gotta be a travel. They call it off of Walla Walla. Unbelievable. It will be Spokane ball after we take a timeout. It's 38-36 Walla Walla. Let's check the other scores here in the men's basketball NWAC Southern Region, Clackamas and uh, Chemeketa are doing battle. They are midway through the first. Clackamas by 10. Portland men lead Southwest Oregon 34-21. Umqua over Clark by three. Everything else in the NWAC is done except for this play-in game and the South. So Spokane ball underneath the basket. Want to welcome the more than 100 people watching our broadcast today. A lot of interest from probably all around the NWAC, hopefully, especially the Eastern Division. But there are some other teams in the NWAC who could match up with one of these teams, either Thursday or maybe down the line. And so a lot of interest in who will be the final qualifier in the east and there is a foul line jumper by Williams not good and Klein brings it down. Warriors lead by two. They trap White and they get it to Klein. And White a little bit too hard that time. Good defense though, good contest contested play by Kobe Reese. And that's Terry. And that wouldn't go. And with 3.15 to play, the Warriors have it back. Again, they trap Noah White. Jake Poulton comes to the basketball. Poulton got a fire. And that rimmed off, and it goes back to the Sasquatch. They can take the lead with a three. Williams lobs to Reese, back to Williams, and now it's Johnson. Terry goes by Klein and scores it, Paul Terry. And we're tied for the second time of the game, 38 apiece, two and a half to play before half. White stepped through to Jander. And the turnaround, no good, got his own rebound, and scored it. Klein has 15. Warriors lead 40 to 38 as we approach the two minute mark of the first half. We got a good one going here in sunny Walla Walla. 
Reese, back door, Terry, it rolls in. And we're tied again, third tie, 40 to 40. We'll have stats at halftime. Poulton to Klein, makes a move, has it blocked by uh, Aiden Barber. We haven't told you about Aiden. We will, though, because he just blocked that shot at the other end. The Warriors get a block, but Williams gets a basket. He has 16, and Spokane has taken the lead, 42-40. Aiden Barber snuck in at one of those breaks. He's a 6'3 freshman guard from Pullman, Washington in Pullman High School, and he made a nice shot block there a moment ago. Spokane has the ball, 115 to play. Noah White racks the net. Four three-point goals for Noah White. Already our ninth lead change. And Walla Walla leads 43-42. And coming in will be Jay Gilson. And Barber will sit down. And so the Sasquatch have it here with 1.05 to play. 43-42. Warriors lead, there is Williams, and what an athletic move by Jerron Williams. He has 18 points, Spokane has the lead, 10 lead changes, three ties, and a 30 second timeout for Spokane with 56.7 seconds left. So if you go to nwacsportsnetwork.com, that is where the link lives for the selection shows tomorrow. 1.30 Pacific time for the men. It's a link for Zoom. You can just click on it and you can watch all the proceedings as they unveil the brackets. They will interview the champion of each region, the head coach. So four men's coaches on the 1.30 show will be interviewed. Coaches from Olympic Lane, Lower Columbia, and Wenatchee Valley. And then at 3 o'clock Pacific time, they will do the same thing for the women's show. Again, it's a different link, but those links are available for you on nwacsportsnetwork.com. One of these teams in front of you right now will be in that bracket, but not both. And we will have to wait and see who it will be. Will it be the Warriors in their black and gold, or will it be the Sasquatch in their blue and white? Noah White got free again. That one did not go for Noah. 38 seconds to play. Spokane has the ball and the lead. There is a nine second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. You can see the shot clock in your screen above the basket. And a lob to Reese. And he has six. Spokane leads by three and the Warriors will have the last shot. White with 10. In and out, no good. It's loose. Spokane has it. They still have four seconds. And it's going to be a shot off the backboard in the rim. Great effort by Caleb Johnson. And it is halftime. And Spokane has 46. And the Warriors have 43. What a great half, everybody. As uh, these teams split during the regular season, and now they will play one half to see who gets to go to Everett and who will have to stay home and worry about uh, next year, things like that. We'll get a printout of our stats. We can tell you that Jerron Williams has 18 points. Jay Gilson has two, Paul Terry six, 13 for Caleb Johnson, one for Brett Michaels, and six for Reese. And we will get the official uh, stats here. I may have missed a basket for Spokane, thank you. As we look over these points, 18 for Williams, six for Terry. 13 for Johnson, one for Michaels, six for Reese, two for Gilson for 46. 20, 26, 39, 40, 46. That is indeed 46. From the free throw line, Spokane is four 
of six. And they have only committed two fouls. Emmett Holt has both fouls, so no foul trouble for Spokane. For the Warriors, Kobe Kelly has nine points. Noah White has 14. Three for Jake Poulton. 15 for Klein and two for Gillespie. 17, 20, 34 for a total of 43. And the Warriors have not been to the free throw line. Warrior fouls, uh, White has a foul. Wells has a foul. Gillespie has a foul. Nico Robin has two. And Klein has one. So only Robin has two fouls in the game. Rebounds, uh, 15 to 14 in favor of Spokane. Two turnovers for the Sasquatch, five for the Warriors. The Sasquatch are shooting 56% from the floor and 40% from three. The Warriors are shooting 53% from the floor and they are shooting 75% from three. They're nine of 12. Spokane has scored 28 points in the paint to 14 for Walla Walla. They also have 10 points off turnovers to two for Walla Walla. They have two second chance points. The Warriors have five. Bench points, two apiece. Three ties, 10 lead changes. Biggest lead, Spokane led by six. Walla Walla led by eight. That's the information that you need to know. The winner will play either Olympic, Lane, or Lower Columbia on Thursday. Game time's Thursday, Pacific time in Everett are eight, 10, noon, two, four, six, eight, and 10. So they run them in and out, eight straight games beginning at 8 in the morning at the Everett Community College Walt Price Student Fitness Center. I'll be there, and I hope to see you there. And if you can't make it, hope to talk to you online through the NWAC Sports Network. We're going to take a break. We're 12 minutes away from the second half. We'll catch our breath and be back with you in a few moments.
Well, welcome back to the Dietrich Activity Center on the campus of Walla Walla Community College. Mike Tatko with you here as we are half away from somebody advancing to Everett to participate on Thursday. Men's action Thursday and Friday, so there'll be eight games, 16 teams, four from each region. And then the next round is the very next day on Friday. So the teams that win on Thursday will play on Friday. And then after Friday's action, there will only be four men's team left, and they will take the weekend off and they will come back next weekend. Then the women will take center stage on Saturday. They will play Saturday and Sunday. And then the four women's teams that remain will come back the next weekend. So the second weekend will be just the final fours of both teams, of both sides. So. That's kind of how it will play out. And so, again, those selection shows are 1.30 Pacific time tomorrow for the men and three o'clock Pacific time for the women. They will reveal the brackets and uh, you'll know the matchups, you'll know the time, and that will perhaps help you make travel plans as to when you need to arrive. Obviously, you could be playing at eight o'clock Thursday morning. You could be playing at 10 o'clock Thursday night and that might determine uh, your plans to get to Everett. It's If you haven't been there, it's a beautiful facility, uh, plenty of seating, uh, plenty of parking, and just a really nice area. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to go there several times and uh, looking forward to it yet again. Want to say hi to all the people logging in. We're at more than 100 at one point, and now... Uh, we anticipate that number will climb back up as we get closer to the end. Mr. Witt66 always logs in and it's very complimentary. Thank you, good to hear from you and Cheryl Johnson and Das Boot and everyone else who has taken time to say hello. This is the final game here at Walla Walla Community College for this season, win or lose. The next activity is in Everett for one of these teams and no more basketball here at the community college until next season. But they are playing spring sports. And as I understand, they did purchase a similar huddle camera, and so they might be broadcasting some baseball and softball down the road, I hope so, here at Walla Walla Community College. Well, it is 46-43 Spokane. On Wednesday night at halftime, Walla Walla led by five and ended up winning by three. This time, Spokane leads by three. So we will see how this second half plays out as uh, one of these teams will advance. Both very deserving to join Wenatchee Valley, Columbia Basin, and Yakima Valley. Those are the other teams in the East who will be making the trip. If you look at the standings and see that North Idaho College has a, a great record, they are in the final year of their ban of postseason play. And so if, if you're not familiar with the, the way it works, although they are second in the league standings, they're ineligible for the playoffs. And so that is why they will not be advancing. And indeed, Columbia Basin will have a new gym. It will be Cheryl Holden Court, named after the legendary Longtime women's basketball coach at Columbia Basin who won all sorts of NWAC championships. She's in various Hall of Fames, and, and I'm uh, proud to call her my friend. As, uh, she did a great job and still works at the college, and, and uh, great honor for her to have the new basketball facility named after her, and I cannot wait until uh, that opens, and uh, specifically Walla Walla goes to play over there. It's a trip that I'll definitely try to make. So here we go with the second half. It will be Spokane basketball. It'll be Jerron Williams. Looks, appears to be the same starters. Williams, Reese, Terry, Michaels, 
and uh, Johnson. And for the Warriors, it'll be White, Poulton, Kelly, Klein, and Robin. 20 minutes till Everett for somebody. Sasquatch have it to open things up. And they go to Reese, and it rolled off, but he got his own rebound, and the stick back is good. Reese has eight. Good start for the Sasquatch. They lead by five. And uh, their biggest lead was six. So now it's five. And what do we have? A foul on Michaels. So it took Spokane... 14 minutes to commit a foul in the first half, and they commit one in the first 30 seconds of the second half. Warriors get it down five. Robin, White. Klein was good in the first half, and he starts off good in this half. 18 for Klein, and he makes it 48-46, so he picked up where he left off. Sasquatch on offense, driving, kicking into the corner. That's Williams, going to go all the way through the key, and the little baby hook is good for Jerron Williams. He has 20, and it's 50-46 to 46 Sasquatch. White steps through and gets it off to Kelly. They're guarding him. Warriors made nine three-point goals in the first half as Kelly is going to go to the line. They made ten the entire game the other night. They call the foul on Michaels, his second and the second team. And Kelly will have a pair here. Kelly, a 71% free throw shooter. Kelly has 10 points as he knocks that one down. Gilson will come back. And uh, Michaels will get a break. 50 to 47 as Kelly fires the second one. He now has 11. And it's 50 to 48. Sasquatch by two, 18 20 to play in regulation. There's a shot put up and it was missed. I thought maybe it was tipped, but the Sasquatch get it back. Terry has it, same shot clock, 13 seconds because the initial shot by Johnson didn't hit iron. Off the foot, it's loose and they finally got it to Reese. He'll shoot at the horn and he knocks it down. Kobe Reese at the shot clock horn, gets it to go and it's 52-48 in favor of Spokane, and now Poulton scores and he's fouled. And so Poulton has five, and the foul is called on Gilson, his first third team foul. Jake Poulton is a 94% free throw shooter. He hit four big free throws at the end of the game the other night to cinch the win. And he hits one here and makes it a 52-51 game. Terry underneath and the shot was blocked from behind. And they're gonna call a foul on Klein. That's his second. First team foul. And so Gilson will shoot two. Gilson, a 77% free throw shooter. And Jay Gilson makes that one. He has three points, and Spokane leads 53-51. 17.30 to play. And White able to rebound the miss. Warriors a chance to tie. There have been three ties and 10 lead changes. Warriors biggest lead eight, Spokane's biggest lead six. Robin for the lead, and he got it, Nico Robin. 
11 lead changes. Warriors lead 54-53. They've erased the three-point halftime deficit, which was five early in the second half. Reese backing in on Klein. White helps. Cross court, Terry. Lob to Reese, and an offensive foul on Kobe Reese. Bolton hits the deck, his first, and the fourth team foul on the Sasquatch. So 16.45 to play, Warriors with the ball and a lead. Bolton up the right side for Walla Walla. Line, high post, free throw line, off the iron. He hasn't missed very many this afternoon, has Jander Klein, Reese working on Jander, backs in, steps through, missed it and a foul on Kelly. They're gonna get Kelly with the foul and so two more free throws coming for Reese. I shouldn't say two more, he hasn't been there yet today, but he will have to and he's a 78% free throw shooter. Kobe Reese now has 11 points, and we are tied for the fourth time. He used every part of the iron that time, did Reese. 12 lead changes. The latest is Spokane, 55 54. Poulton. Klein backing in, jump hook, and it's good. Jander Klein has 20. And the Warriors have the lead back, 56-55. We have played four minutes. You wouldn't really expect anything different between these two teams. Remember the 17 point win, there's Reese off the iron, but Terry rebounds it and off to Williams. And that rolled off, two hard luck misses. Smallest guy on the court, Terry has the rebounds twice. Was just gonna say the 17 point win for Spokane in February, Kobe Kelly, was not available for the Warriors, and he certainly has made the difference. And I tell you, I don't think I've seen three shots that far down the cylinder that come back up and out like I did just there for Spokane. They had three opportunities. All three appeared to be in the cylinder, and they came back out. And Walla Walla is the beneficiary with a one-point lead and the ball, 56-55. Robin to Klein, down on the baseline, working on Reese. Jump hook, not good. And Spokane has the rebound. Gilson gonna fire. Back iron, not good, and Kelly yanks it down. Sasquatch have gone a little bit cold, and then in the backcourt, Noah White commits an unforced error. And Ekaveri will come back in. We have a media timeout, I think. We do with exactly 15 minutes to play in our basketball game, at least in regulation. And our score is 56-55 uh, in favor of Spokane. Josh Gillespie will come in at the break for the Warriors, who I need to mention again, they're without Spencer Wright. He was injured early in Wednesday's game, has a walking boot on. We wish him well. Well, all teams have injuries. All teams dealt with COVID. It's no different for any of the teams in this uh, Eastern region and throughout the NWAC. And boy, kudos to the student athletes who, for all the teams who went through all the protocols and did uh, everything they needed to do to complete this regular season. And we're just days away now from the postseason in Everett. 15 minutes to play, the Warriors have the lead, Spokane has the ball. And triggering it in will be Jerron Williams. Gets it into Ekaveri. High post, free throw line jumper. That is good by Johnson. First two of this half for Caleb. 
And he has 15 overall, and the lead goes back to Spokane. Back and forth we go. 57-56. Poulton. Klein way out. Gillespie at the free throw line. Backing his way in, and it's off the glass and in. Josh Gillespie has four. The lead has changed hands 15 times. Ekaveri, there's Caleb. Caleb dribbling the basketball, guarded by Poulton. Finds Jerron Williams. Ekaveri, there's Reese at the free throw line. Underscore, underneath pass. Beautiful pass by Reese. And Ekaveri lays it in. And it's Spokane, 59. Walla Walla, 58. Want to say hello to Richard Gillespie as Poulton lets fly with a three. Poulton has nine. And Walla Walla leads by two. Grandpa Gillespie is cheering for the Warriors from Ohio. He stayed up late the other night. A little bit of an earlier night for him tonight as Reese couldn't get it to go. And I think Klein fouled him on the way back up. And that is the third on Klein. Well, Jander Klein ended up fouling out the other night along with Covey Kelly. It was a foul fest. There were 40 free throws in the game the other night. Here's Reese who has made two. And he has now made three. And Bryce Kelly will come into the game for Walla Walla. He is a freshman from Ritzville, Washington, a Ritzville Bronco. He is into the game, and Reese hits both. He has 14 points, and we have now been tied five times. 13-23 to go. Kelly couldn't quite pull the trigger as they close on him. Poulton kicks it to Gillespie, jump hook. And it rolled out no good. Well, hard luck for Spokane at the other end a couple possessions ago, and hard luck for the Warriors that time. Sasquatch have it. Ekaveri. Still with the ball in the deep right corner. Now back out to Caleb. Jeremy Groth calls out a new play, and they back it out, and they'll set it up again. Shot clock at 10. Tie game. Shot clock now at 7, and they lob, and nobody's there except Josh Gillespie. And they turn it over in the backcourt. Williams going to lay it up and in on the putback. Jerron Williams has 22. And Spokane has taken the lead back. 63-61. Kelly had it poked away. Robin. Gillespie looking for Kelly, and it's knocked out of bounds by the Sasquatch with 12.08 to play. And it will be Warrior Ball, 12.08 to play. Spokane by two. Robin lost his man. Down in, on the court went Gilson, and Robin got an easy jump shot out of it. And we're tied at 63. Under 12. Caleb Johnson hit one there a moment ago from that spot. Didn't this time. And Kelly has the rebound. Covey Kelly. Covey Kelly, Bryce Kelly. They're both in the game. Covey is zero. Bryce is 10. Bryce has a beard. Covey doesn't. And a foul, I think. It's on Jerron Williams, just his first, and the fifth team foul. So five fouls on Spokane, three on Walla Walla. Aiden Barber is going to try to come into the game, and getting a break will be Jerron Williams with 11.30 to play in the game, at least regulation. 63 apiece. Underneath, Kelly blocked off the backboard, and everybody in the gym wanted goaltending, and then a spin move, 
and it's no good. Body's on the floor. And out the other end, it's Robin, and it's Bryce Kelly who missed it, but the Warriors get it back. And it's Kobe Kelly. He got it. Kobe Kelly has 14. And the Warriors have the lead back. Unofficially, 19 lead changes and six ties. Warriors by three. Reese, and that deep three by Barber is off, but the Sasquatch with the offensive rebound. Ten and a half minutes to play. Shot clock at seven. Caleb, step back three for the tie. Wouldn't go, the Sasquatch get it back again. They are owning the offensive boards here in a little bit of a stretch in the second half. Another opportunity as we get to the midway point. Reese, that's gotta be a charge. And it is. And a timeout on the court. So Kobe Reese picks up his second foul, 16 foul, and we have a timeout on the court with exactly 10 minutes to play in the game. And it is 66-63, Walla Walla. Well, exactly 10 minutes remain in regulation of our basketball game, our NWAC Eastern Region play-in game between Walla Walla and Spokane. And it is 66-63 Walla Walla. The Warriors trailed by three at half. They now lead by three and they have the basketball and they're actually going to the video to look. I don't know if they're looking to see if it was a flagrant or what they're looking at, but the officials have stopped the game to look at the replay, so we will see. They, As it stands, it's been a charged offensive foul to Kobe Reese. So we will see what they come up with here. Again, action begins Thursday at 8 a.m. at the Walt Price Student Fitness Center in Everett. Games every two hours, eight games on the first day. And then on the second day, on Friday, the games will be at 1, 3, 5, and 7. And then the women will play Saturday, eight games, and then Sunday, 1, 3, 5, and 7. And all those pairings and times and opponents are announced. Tomorrow, 1.30 Pacific time for the men, 3 for the women. So it's just an offensive foul, not uh, not uh, a flagrant. I looked at it and I didn't think it was anything out of the ordinary. I did think it was offensive, but I didn't think there was anything above that. I want to say hello to my old friend, Greg Hannon. Well, not old, longtime friend, Greg Hannon. Hope you're doing well. Here's Kobe Kelly off the iron and the Sasquatch with the rebound. And at the other end, bodies all over the place. It ends up in the hands of Poulton. Noah White is limping. Jake shoots it. It's no good. White is limping as he collided with somebody. Jeremy Groth wanted a push on Josh Gillespie at the other end, didn't get it. So 
it's becoming a pretty much intense and a lot more physical as we kind of thought it might. There's a jump hook in the key. That rolled out. That was Gilson. And now the Warriors have it. And there is Gillespie backing in. Had it taken away, but I think they're going to get Ekaveri. It is. And that is the seventh, and it's going to be one and one. So the Warriors will be at the line for the remainder of the game. They have only committed three. Walla Walla, Gillespie will shoot. Left-handed shot on the way by Gillespie. And good. He's a 67% free throw shooter. Warriors lead by four. Their biggest lead was eight. Spokane's biggest lead was six. And he used every bit of the iron, the heel, everything. Sixty-eight, sixty-three, deep three, off, tipped, and a rebound again by Spokane. And to the basket, laying it up, and now a blocking foul called on Kobe Kelly. So Kelly's second, fourth team foul. And Williams gets it to go. He has 23 points. 68-64 is our score. And uh, he made them both, 68-65. Great crowd online, good crowd at the Dietrich Activity Center in person too. A lot of the students are down below me as Gillespie spins and scores. The Spokane crowd wanted a walking violation. 70-65, a lot of the students right down below me here on the bench side, and again, a lot of people across the way that you can see. And flushing it down is Reese. He has 16. 70 to 67. Eight minutes to play. Gillespie. Underneath, couldn't get it to go. Good defense by Reese. And Coach Rhineland that time wanted a foul, didn't get it. Williams kicking to Gilson. And he scores and he's fouled. So Gilson has five. He'll have a free throw. It is 70 to 69. And they call that on Kelly. And Klein is back in. Gillespie will sit down, so Kelly has three, Klein has three, Gilson is one for two, and he'll have one here for the tie. And he makes it. It is tied for the seventh time. There have been 19 lead changes, 70 to 70. Holton with a floater, and he has 10. And Walla Walla has the lead back. Yes, indeed. Chuck Williams is just as good as Wednesdays. Don't know how much more of this I can take. There's a jumper, rolled off, no good. Warriors have the lead and the ball, seven and a half minutes to play. So glad that everyone is with us, whether you're in Alaska or Ohio or New Mexico or wherever. Pasco, doesn't matter. Glad you're here. Colby Kelly to the hoop. Nobody stopped him. And he has 16. And Walla Walla leads by four. Seven minutes to go in regulation. There's Gilson on Klein. Backing in, jumping up. And Klein has the rebound of the miss. 6.45 to go. Warriors by four and the ball. Hello to Tamika Gilson rooting for Jay. And on the drive, it's a foul on Jerron Williams. And the Warriors will be shooting. It'll be Kelly. 
who made a pair a moment ago. And now coming in will be Aiden Barber. Six thirty-two remains in regulation. Walla Walla seventy-four, Spokane seventy. Kelly has sixteen points. And he got the first one. Walla Walla did not shoot a free throw in the first half. And they are seven for seven in the second half and they have matched their biggest lead, 76 to 70. You wanna say hello to Devon Hill, rooting for Jay Gilson and the Sasquatch. Driving is Jerron Williams and he lays it in off the glass. Williams has 26. Well, the other night he had 25. So he's eclipsed that and he still has six minutes of action left. Robin in the corner as we approach the six minute mark. Poulton driving, driving, and it rolled off the other end and now Spokane has a chance, Jerron Williams kicking. There's Barber, off the iron. Warriors fight for it and Spokane comes up with it. Two Warriors had it and the Sasquatch get it. And Caleb has it. What a break for the Sasquatch. And Caleb Johnson scores. He has 17, 76-74 with five and a half to play. Warriors with the ball. And the lead, Poulton off to Robin. And there's Kelly. Nico decides not to pull the trigger, shot clock at 10. He drives, he left it off for Klein, the ball was kicked. And so it'll be Warrior ball and they'll reset it to 20 because of the kick. And now coming in for Spokane will be Bryson Echeverry from Thunder Mountain High School in Juneau. They lob it into Nico, 20 on the shot clock. And he tried to kick it into Klein and it was knocked out of bounds by Spokane. Want to say hello to Avis Williams who has tuned in and rooting for Geronimo. It's, we are five minutes and two seconds away from the end of regulation. Who knows, we might need extra time. 76-74, Noah White. Robin driving behind the back, spins, puts it up, and in. Nico Robin has seven, all in the second half, Walla Walla by four. Ekaveri, Barber. Barber driving, kicks, Paul Terry. Terry to the basket, it was blocked, but another offensive rebound and Reese is fouled. And Reese will shoot too. He is four for four. He's been a monster on the boards. And the foul is on Klein. That's his fourth. Walla Walla sixth. And a media timeout. 429 to play in our game. Walla Walla 78. Spokane 74. It's going to come down to the end just like it did on Wednesday when Walla Walla won. 86 to 83 as uh, what a game it was on Wednesday, and we have just as much drama here tonight, although more on the line tonight because uh, the winner goes to Everett Washington and the loser will be done for the year. So quite a, uh, quite a uh, drama-inducing game we have here going on, and glad that you are with us wherever you may be on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Somebody is going to have to strap it back on five days from now and play a game in Everett against an opponent that they don't know as well as they know each other here today. And talking with both coaches before the game, Jeremy Groth of Spokane and Jeff Rhineland of Walla Walla, they both said, we know each other so well. It's going to come down to execution. And uh, it's exactly what it's been. It's been a great game. And Kobe Reese has 16 points. He is four for four from the free throw line. 
And he will shoot two, trying to get the Sasquatch a little bit closer. And he hits the front, the back, and then the bottom of the net. And it's 78-75. Klein will sit down with those four fouls. We'll see for how long. Remember, he and Covey Kelly both fouled out on Wednesday night. And the second one is not good, and it's tipped, and Gillespie comes away with it. And the Warriors have it, and a three-point lead, 420 to play. Kelly. There's Noah White. Noah going one-on-one, -on -one and an offensive foul on Noah White. White second. Team seventh, doesn't matter. It's not a shooting foul because it's an offensive foul. It is Noah White second. And with 4.09 to play, the Sasquatch will have it with a chance to tie as they trail by three. Caleb Johnson to Jerron Williams. They lob to Reese, and he lays it in because Klein is not in there to guard. And they have a decided advantage in there, and he lays it in, and he has 19, and it's 78-77 with 3.50 to play in the game. Poulton looking for some help and gets it to Covey Kelly. And now Gillespie driving baseline, kicks it. Covey Kelly for three. Good. Covey Kelly has 21. And the Warriors lead by seven, 81, or lead by four, 81-77. And driving is Barber, wouldn't good and get it to go, but Reese crashes the boards and lays it in. 81-79, 21 for Reese. We're down to 310 to go on our game. Poulton guarded out there by Reese, who came all the way out, did Kobe. And now they go Gillespie inside. Josh couldn't get it to go. The rebound comes down. Kobe Kelly blocking foul. And he'll shoot two. The foul is on Terry. His first, the ninth team, Kelly. We'll shoot a pair here. He has 21 points. And now Klein comes back in because Reese really went to town without Klein. And Kelly hits the first free throw of Warriors by three. And he got them both. 83, 79, 250 to play in regulation. Jerron Williams against Robin, blocked! But they got it back, great job by Jerron Williams to get it back, and now he kicks to Barber, and Klein rebounds the miss. Well, they're trying to draw a foul on Klein, and he held his ground, and he got the rebound. Two and a half to play, timeout. Walla Walla, four point Warrior lead with 2.28 to play in this NWAC Eastern Region play-in game. Drama in Walla Walla for the final minutes of this play-in game as the winner goes to Everett for a game on Thursday. The loser is done. Again, remember, the selection show is at 1.30 Pacific time tomorrow on nwacsportsnetwork.com, 1.30 Pacific time. The first thing you need to do tomorrow, if you don't tonight, is set your clocks ahead for daylight savings time. And then at 1.30 Pacific, so if you're somewhere else, calculate what time it is. <laughs> and uh, 1.30 Pacific is when the men's selection show will be. One of these teams will be revealed to be in the bracket. And then, the women's selection show, for those of you interested in the women's side, is at 3 o'clock Pacific. Action starts with men's action Thursday in Everett at 8 a.m. Friday, men's action starts at 1. Saturday, women's action at 8 a.m. And Sunday, 
women's action at one. And then for the lucky four on either side that advanced, they get to go back to Everett the next weekend. So it's a two weekend type thing. 2.28 to play, Warriors have an 83-79 lead in the ball. They won the other night, 86-83, so the score is somewhat similar. Although we still have two and a half. White, dribbling out front. Good defense. Kelly manages to get it to Poulton. 15 foot jumper, good. Jake Poulton has 13 and the Warriors lead by six with two minutes and five seconds to go. Terry to Reese and he was fouled by Nico Robin. That's Nico's third and Reese today is five for six. He has 21 points. Trails only Jerron Williams who has 26. And it's off for the second time here in the second half. Reese made his first five. He's missed his last two and here's an opportunity for Kobe to get back in the scoring column and he does. 85-80, two minutes in regulation. White, Kelly, there's Jake. Good defense by Jerron. Both teams over the limit. Any foul, unless it's an offensive foul, will be a shooting foul. And a steal, and Williams is gonna have a breakaway with Robin in hot pursuit, and Williams lays it in. 28 for Jerron. 85-82, the Warriors had a five point lead in the ball, and now it's a three point lead in the ball. 120 to play in our game. And an offensive foul on Poulton away from the ball. Oh no, they call it on Klein. They call it on Klein and that's his fifth. So Klein has fouled out of the game. Well, I'm going to have a see if I can have a look at exactly what uh, he did. Well, it was right in front of the official. They said he swung his hip into him. And so it is the fifth foul on Klein. He made four three point baskets today and four two point baskets. So 20 points for Klein, and he fouls out with 120 left. Spokane has the ball down three. And so the lineup is, Pult is uh, Gilson, Terry, Johnson, Williams, and Reese for the Sasquatch. Lob to Reese, and it's got to be an offensive foul. He pushed off. Jeremy Groth doesn't like it, but I think when he goes back and looks at it. So Reese with a clear out, that is his third foul. And the Warriors get it back with 113 left. White, Robin, Poulton, Covey Kelly, and Gillespie on the court for the Warriors. 110 to play, Warriors by three. White, that's Josh with it now. Covey Kelly for three. Off the side, no good, and the rebound comes down to the Sasquatch. 50 seconds, they are down three. They lob it to Reese, he catches, and he scores. And it's 85-84. He has 24 points. And with 48.5 seconds left, Walla Walla has the ball. So an 18 second differential between shot clock and game clock. And when the Warriors are on defense, they've got to find a way to keep it from Kobe Reese. He had only six points at half. And he has 18 this half for a total of 24. It's pretty much what we thought it would be 
here this afternoon in Walla Walla. An intense game, a well-played game, a hard-fought game, and a close game. And Walla Walla trailed by three at half. Led by five a moment ago, 85-80, but Spokane has cut it to 85-84. 48 seconds remain. Warriors will have to go the length of the court. Let's see if Spokane applies pressure. They will not to Nico Robin, and he'll give it back to Noah White. The Spokane bench with a chant of defense. They have some, a good crowd here today, too, does Spokane. Robin lays it up, and in. He just went man-to-man, one-on-one, -on -one and he scored. Walla Walla by three with 30 seconds left. Shot clock, game clock, differential is five. They lob it to Reese. He drives, he kicks for the tie. Gilson, no good. Rebound, Poulton. Poulton and the Warriors have numbers, and they have to foul with 17 seconds left. They had a good look. Gilson had a look from the right wing. It didn't go, and Poulton skied for the rebound. Johnson commits the foul, they're over the double bonus limit. So Poulton, who hit four free throws on Wednesday night to seal the win, can try to do it here with 17 seconds left. The first one is good. Jake, who I know as people watching, always does, has 14 points. 88-84, two possession game. Harrison Fletcher is into the game for the Warriors. Fletcher, a 6'8 center from Centennial High School in Meridian, calls Boise, Idaho home. Poulton makes them both. He has 15, and Walla Walla leads by five with 17 seconds left. And Spokane will have to go the length of the floor, and they'll need it twice. As this NWAC Eastern Region play-in game is going to come down to the very end. 17.6 seconds. Well, Reese has been so good underneath, and if you figure that they need the ball twice, they need a three and a two, I would wonder if they'll take the easy two the first trip down and make it a one possession game if they can get it, or maybe they'll try for the three first. Either way, they have to score on this possession. Jake Poulton was four for four in the closing seconds on Wednesday night. He's three for three in the second half here. You just, just to be frank about it, you want the ball in his hands. He shoots 94% from the foul line. They'll bring it in. Warriors are gonna apply some pressure just to make Spokane use clock. Up the right side, it's Terry. And it's Johnson, he fires. He made it! What a shot by Caleb Johnson. He has 20. And timeout Spokane with 8.8 .8 seconds left. What a shot by Caleb Johnson. A monster shot. He had three three-point goals in the first half. They really shut him down as far as from the three-point line. He had 13 at half. He has seven here in this half, and what a great monster across his body shot from the arc. And they're looking at it to see, are they looking at it to see if it was a three? Go back and look and see if I can look and see if it was a three. That's, I think that's what they're looking at. Ah, there's no question, it's a three. Yeah, I looked at it on my monitor here, and it is indeed a three. So that must be what they're looking at, or maybe they're looking to see how much time is left. Remember, in the final minute, they, can, they stop the clock after a made basket, and so they are going to put, it says 8.8, .8, and they are going to put 
9.2. So they add four tenths of a second. And you're right, Das Boot, congratulations to both teams. Both Wednesday and today, if you were here or if you were watching, treated to just amazing, amazing college basketball. And uh, boy, it'd be, it'd be nice if both of these folks could qualify, but obviously that's why we're here, because one is gonna qualify and one isn't. So, 89-87, Warriors lead, and they have the ball with nine seconds left. Spokane, full court pressure. Robin runs the baseline, gets it to Poulton, and they foul Jake with 7.6 seconds left. They wanted to deny him the ball at all costs and have anybody else shoot. And now Fletcher will come back in as Coach Rhineland plays offense, defense. 7.6 left. Again, if he hits them both, it's a two possession game. So here's Jake Poulton. He has the first, 90 to 87. Fletcher in, Gillespie out. 7.6 seconds left, Warriors by three. He missed it, here comes Spokane, they can tie. Up it goes. Barber for the tie, he got it! With two seconds left. A three in the corner for Aiden Barber from Pullman, Washington, 6-3. And a freshman, his first points of the game, our eighth tie. And if you look at Aiden Barber on the year, If these stats are right, Aiden Barber had not made a three-point basket all year, if the stats I have are right. Amazing. Clutch, clutch shot by Aiden Barber, and I'm looking at the most updated NWAC stats, and it says that Barber was 0 for 8 in the regular season overall and 0 for 6 in conference. First one. So now, you turn your attention to Walla Walla. They have put 0.6 seconds left, so 2.6. The Warriors have to go the length of the court. Underneath their basket, Robin will throw it in. He can run the baseline. Poulton, Gillespie, White, and Kelly all in there. Let's see, 2.6. Nico gets it into Poulton. Poulton to half court. He fires. Off. And we are going to overtime. Well, would you expect anything different? in a play-in game to go to the NWAC tournament. We will have overtime. It is 90 to 90. Walla Walla had a five-point lead, 85-80, relatively late, and the ball, but they committed a turnover. Spokane made every shot when they needed. And now with Klein out of the game, you have to feel like Spokane is going to go to Kobe Reese. On offense, because uh, the Warriors have really not proven that they can stop him without Klein. So, we will see, they will jump it up. We have after or end of regulation stats. Kobe Kelly, 23 points. White, 14. Poulton, 16. Robin, 9. Klein, 20. Gillespie, 8. Jerron Williams, 28. Terry, 6. Caleb Johnson, 20. Michaels, 1. Reese, 24. 
Ekaveri two, Gilson six, and Barber, the hero, three on a three-pointer to tie the game with 2.6 seconds left. And more and more people logging in and watching the final five minutes. Of course, the fouls carry over, and so every foul is a shooting foul unless it's an offensive foul. And Reese got fouled by Robin. So Robin's fourth. And both teams over the limit now. And now here is Reese who has been to the free throw line quite a bit here. Eight times in the second half he's made six. And our lead has just changed hands for the 20th time, we've been tied eight times. And Kobe Reese gets them both and Spokane leads 92 to 90. Five minute overtime period. Robin, White, there's Nico for the lead for the Warriors. Good, Nico Robin has 12. Walla Walla takes the lead back, 93-92. We've played 30 seconds in our overtime period. And Caleb couldn't get it to go, and Reese couldn't get it to go, but the next time he could, Kobe Reese. Spokane leads, 94-93. We have played one minute. Robin and White. Nico thought about it and leaves it off out of bounds and nobody there. It's a turnover. Back to Spokane, 347. Sasquatch will bring it in to Jerron Williams. I agree with Chuck Williams, one of the best games all year. And we've both seen a lot. There's Reese, they double him. And Jerron Williams decides not to shoot it. They're trying to post up Reese. There's Barber with a spin and a jumper. And he hits again. Barber has five and Spokane leads by three. And I'm not sure what the Oh, his shoe came off, so Gillespie's shoe came off, so they stopped it for that. So the Warriors will bring it in with 321 to play. And Spokane by three. White to Kelly. Poulton with it. He fires a three. Good! Jake Poulton ties the game. 96, 96, three minutes in overtime. Williams, no, and there's Reese. He is a monster on the boards. He is getting everything. 98, 96, Spokane leads. Bolton doubled, deep corner Covey Kelly. White posting up Gillespie, and Josh got fouled. Josh is two for two. As the foul is on Ekaveri. So Gillespie two for two. He can tie the game with 226 to play. And uh, Warriors are thinking about getting Harrison Fletcher into the game. And Gillespie hits the first one. 98-97. 226 to go. And 
The Sasquatch will have it out of bounds. Gillespie will head to the bench, and Fletcher will come in. 6'8", freshman from Boise. He went to Centennial High School in Meridian. Spokane has the ball and the lead. And they're trying to post up Reese against Harrison. He spins around and rolled off. It's headed out of bounds, but Spokane gets it. So the Warriors thought they had a break. Spokane got the offensive rebound. They get the basket and the foul. Let's check the Warrior foul. It's on Kelly. It's his fourth. Reese gets it to go. He will have a free throw here. It's 100 to 97 Spokane with 2.09 to play. And Reese has been really good at the line. And he makes another one. Four point Spokane lead. As we approach the two minute mark, Polton lets fly. And the rebound is taken down by Reese. He has owned both the offensive and the defensive rebounds late in this half and the overtime ever since Klein fouled out. They lob it to him again. He lays it up and in again. And Spokane leads by six. The Warriors need some threes. White driving, steps back behind the line, kicks it to Kelvy Kelly. Good defense by Caleb Johnson. Driving is Gillespie, he missed the lay-in, and Spokane has the basketball with 90 seconds left and a six-point lead. They'll run clock now, and the Warriors will not foul until the shot clock, they can't foul this possession, the shot clock's already down to right now, it's 10. Williams, driving. Driving and missing, tipped up by Reese, no good. Still loose and now White has it. Warriors need two three-point baskets. And Spokane knows it. <laughs> Robin drives, leaves off for Gillespie and they call a block, but it's not on the basket. It's two shots, it was beyond, it's on the pass. So no basket for Walla Walla. The foul is on Reese, it's his fourth. And Robin, who has not been to the free throw line, will be shooting two. Robin has not been there tonight. Robin gets the Warriors a little bit closer, but if you're Spokane, you'll take two points instead of a three. Gilson is back. Barber will sit down. Boy, he gave Coach Growth some great minutes. Robin ready for the second, that's too hard. And Sasquatch have it, now the Warriors need to foul. And they foul Echeverry. And we'll tell you about Echeverry from the line. 66% free throw shooter is Bryson Echeverry. White commits his third foul. 103, 98 Spokane, 46 seconds remain. And Echeverry hits it. And now if he can hit the second one, it would be a three possession game. And he rattled it in. 105 98, 45 seconds remain in overtime. Poulton scored it, and the Warriors call timeout. Well, they needed the ball three times, so you're going to have to have a two eventually. And now they're in the same boat. They still need a two and a three, but Spokane has the ball. So Walla Walla, I would assume, would try for a steal off the bat, and if they can't get a steal in the first couple of seconds, they'll have to foul. Echeverry is a guy who came in shooting 66%. He made it, made them both. Williams, 78%. Gilson, 77%. 
Caleb Johnson, 89%. And Reese, 78%. So this is a team that shoots 77% from the line. Percentage-wise, the worst shooter just made two. So there you have that. So with 36 and a half seconds left, Spokane leads by five. Gilson can run the end line if he needs to. And he and it nearly was stolen and it went off of the Warriors in the corner. Well, they got a hand on it. But it went out of bounds back to Spokane. That took about a second. Great crowd here today and a great crowd online for this Eastern Region play-in game. Who are they going to give it to? They're trying to get it to Williams, and the Warriors do indeed foul Juron, who is three for four today. Jake Wells will come into the game. And the foul is on Covey Kelly, and that is the end of the line for him. So four two-point goals for Covey, three three-point goals, and six for six from the line. And the free throw by Williams is good. He has 29. Twenty-three points for Kelly before fouling out. Klein is fouled out with twenty. Again, they both fouled out on Wednesday, but the Warriors hung on to win. But this time Spokane leads by seven in the final thirty seconds. Noah White will go and lay it in. They'll let him have that. White has sixteen. It's one oh seven to one oh two, and they finally foul Ekaveri with 21 seconds left. Let's check the Warrior foul. It's on White, that's his fourth. And Ekaveri, who made two a moment ago. This Spokane team is seven for seven in overtime from the line. And so here's Bryson for a couple. And he rolls the first one in. And it's 108-102. It's a, still a two-possession game. But if he hits this, it'll be a three-possession game in only 21 seconds. And it missed. And the Warriors still have life. They need two threes. Robin, White, he fires a three. It's blocked by Barber. Ball's loose in the corner. And it's wire ball. They're going to go review it to see they pointed toward Walla Walla as they tried to hit it off of Poulton and we'll have to see I don't think we're going to get a good enough look and so it, I think it'll stand with Walla Walla because the camera didn't go that far. And that's exactly what they're saying to Coach Growth, the camera <laughs> didn't go that far. And so it will be Walla Walla Ball with 10 seconds left down six and they'll need two threes. And they nearly steal it on the inbounds as Wells tried to get it to Gillespie. It was knocked out of bounds, and they say they're going to reset the clock to 10.4. Wells to trigger it in in front of the Walla Walla bench, looking for somebody. And he finally lobs it in, and it is Poulton. He needs to get free somehow. And he does, it's off the iron, gets it back, lays it in with .7. Spokane celebrates. <laughs> so 
So Poulton gets the shot to go. And it's too little too late, 108, 104. And the first person they went to congratulate, and rightly so, was Aiden Barber, who made his only three-point basket of the season. to tie the game with 2.6 seconds left. And Spokane wins it, and Spokane will go to Everett. And they will be watching the selection show very closely tomorrow at 1.30 Pacific time to see where they are in the bracket. And what a tremendous win for Coach Jeremy Groth and the Sasquatch as they win it here tonight by a final score of 108 to 104. So many people on uh, line watching this one and a lot of people in the crowd and it's a huge, huge win for Spokane as we get our final stats. Thank you very much for that as the Sasquatch are indeed the fourth seed to go into the tournament. Let's take you through the scoring. Jerron Williams had 30 for the Sasquatch. Paul Terry had six. Caleb Johnson had 20. Brett Michaels had a point. Kobe Reese had 35. Bryson Ekaveri had five. Jay Gilson, six. Aiden Barber, five, including the huge three-point goal with 2.6 seconds left, his only one of the season. And uh, that's the total of 108. Kobe Kelly had 23 for the Warriors. Noah White had 16. Jake Poulton, 23, Nico Robin, 13, Jander Klein, 20, Josh Gillespie, 9 for 104. Spokane ended up shooting 49% from the floor in the game, and they were 6 of 21 from 3 for 29%. From the free throw line, they were 22 of 28. Walla Walla was 56.1% from the floor and 61 0.2 or 0.5 percent from the three-point line and 82 percent from the floor so they made a lot of shots and uh just came up a little bit short once klein filed out boy then uh taking over was kobe reese and uh he ended up with 35 points jaron williams with 30 and that's the way it Figured out rebounds. Kobe Reese not only had 35 points, but he had 10 rebounds, nine offensive rebounds. And a wonderful game for him. Points in the paint, 60 for Spokane to 32 for Walla Walla. They had 18 points off turnovers. The Warriors had two. Second chance points, 22. A lot of them were by Reese. 10 for Walla Walla. 16 points off the bench for Spokane, nine for Walla Walla. The score was tied 10 times, and we had 21 lead changes in our game. The biggest lead was Spokane by seven in overtime, ended up winning by four. Walla Walla's biggest lead was eight. Well, Spokane moves to 16 and 12 overall. Walla Walla finishes 11 and 16, and a great job by Coach Rhineland and his assistants and all of the kids from Walla Walla who played their heart out all year long and this afternoon as well. But they came up a little bit short, and congratulations to Coach uh, Jeremy Groth of Spokane and, and his staff and his kids because they played just as hard as the Warriors did and they came out on top by four points in the basketball game today by a score of 108 to 104. Well, where do we go from here? Well, for Spokane, you'll be wanting to tune in to the NWAC uh, selection show, which is at 1.30 Pacific time tomorrow on nwacsportsnetwork.com and you'll find out your matchup and the time of your game on Thursday. You will play Thursday in Everett, and it'll either be at 8 in the morning, 10, noon, 2, 4, 6, 8, or 10 at night. If you win, you'll play again on Friday at either 1, 3, 5, or 7. And uh, if you win twice, then you get to come back the next weekend. Your opponent on Thursday will be either Olympic from the north, Lower Columbia from the west, or Lane from the the South, they are the top seeds. Congratulations again to Coach Jeremy Groth and the Spokane Sasquatch, and a congratulations to Jeff Rhineland and the Warriors on a great year. And I want to thank all the folks here at Walla Walla Community College for allowing me to be Mike side with you all year long. It's been a tremendous, tremendous fun year for both men and women, and 
fortunate enough to be able to go to Everett and help out with uh, some of this stuff going on over there next week. So for those of you I'll see you over there, I'll see you over there. And for the rest of you, thanks so much for tuning in all year long. It's been a, a great uh, year all the way around. The final score, Spokane 108, Walla Walla 104. For all of us at Walla Walla Community College, this is Mike Tatko. Have a very...